What's going on guys, welcome back to another video in the Sonomi Show I'm playing a Modern House. This is the 62nd installment of Modern House. That is a lot. And um, yeah, it's a tiny one. We, I have not done one in a long time. I think it was that one. That one was the last one. That was when I was having my wrist issues, or my thumb. Which actually has nothing to do with that. And now I don't have that anymore. That was like a month ago. <laughs> That's crazy, but here's the house, um, Pete video was yesterday, that's cool, Gravedigger will probably be today or tomorrow, and I also have an inflatable unboxing coming soon, because I got an inflatable at Walmart, yes, Hauntress as well, will be used for that, you'll see about that, um, yeah, I'm gonna not talk about Halloween in this video though, because I talked about it so much, two reasons we need for this are white concrete, white stained glass panes, <coughs> yes, that's not gonna work today, cool, like gray concrete. <clears throat> <clears throat> Pillar cords block. I'm alright. Trip wire hook. Smooth stone slabs. You can use blocks as well, but we're gonna need slabs either way. Dark oak planks. I promise I know the last two materials now. Dark oak doors or any door. Doesn't really matter. It's up to you. And what was the other one? There's one more, I promise. There's 100% one more. And I don't quite remember what it is. But it was quartz slabs. So that's what it is. <laughs> Starting from the front left and corner of your 19 by 22 good golf course. I mean, it want to count backwards by one and going backwards. You want to place 20 light gray concrete. Darn it, I've been fooled. There was a smudge on my screen, but it was the picture. I have been fooled. You want to place four rows of light gray concrete on top of that. YouTube has, like, turned into a business for me just thinking about that. 382 at the moment of recording. Hopefully it'll be more at the point in time that you're seeing this, which is tomorrow. No. Yes, tomorrow. Which doesn't make sense, but it also does make sense. Place your little white stained glass panes on top of that. Come to the front and the second block back, you want to bring the bottom three rows all right with five sideways pillar quartz blocks. You then want to bring these top two rows of light gray concrete right with six light gray concrete and then connect it down. It's Friday. Actually, no, it's Saturday. Yay. Place a trip wire hook at the bottom center of the garage. I'm going to be streaming on um, Sunday, so feel free to watch that if you want. I don't know what time, because I really don't know. It could be, could be 3, it could be 12, my time. You just never know. Alright, going left to right, you want to place a white, on top of this, you want to place a white single glass pane. Light gray, sorry, 5 light gray concrete, my bad. Yeah. On top of this, you want to place going left to right, one light gray concrete, and then four white stained glass panes. Copy that row two more times. I'm like either sitting on my arm or I'm not, and either way it's uncomfortable, so. <laughs> it's not nice. Place a light gray concrete on top of that. I'll take a small break and show you. We have not done much yet, but I mean, it's a tiny house, so I'm gonna have to, what if I have to record this twice? It wouldn't matter, because it's short. Come to the right side, and... You want to bring the entire row backwards by one. The entire thing. Every single block. Don't know why I'd emphasize that, but I did. Apparently. Apparently I did. Move backwards down to the right by one. I place a dark oak plank. And then you want to bring it up by four. Place this new stone block on top of that and then bring it four is by one. Seven. Or one. More of a seven-ish thing. Yeah, one's like that. Seven is, would be like that, though. At least for me. Except all the same color, obviously. You then want to bring the smooth stone blocks or slabs right by three rows. Yawn. Alright, come down to the ground and to the right of the dark oak plank. Sorry, you want to place two dark oak doors and then a row of dark oak with planks that wants to connect to the smooth stone slabs. 
Fill in your gap above your door with dark oak wood planks. If you want to place a row at the top and the bottom, and then place a row of white stained glass panes just there, you can. I actually do like that better. There's that, and then there's this. It's really up to you. But yeah, I think that just kind of makes it less gappy, if that is that, that if that's even a word. Alright, come to the smooth stone slabs and you want to bring them backwards by two rows. So you should have a four by four now. Bring the middle two back by an whoa, back by an additional block and then place dark oak doors on top. I said whoa, because I got um discombobulated, got all turned around, couldn't figure out which way was the correct way. And um yeah, that happened. Also, we're um, finally cleaning up, so that's cool. <laughs> we're probably getting rid of something, which was in the Hauntress video, was in the Death Row video, was in the Pete unboxing. Not in the Gravedigger one, though. So, like, all my props this year. And the unboxing that's coming um, tomorrow. Or, probably tomorrow. Actually, today, probably. Well, maybe tomorrow. I don't know. I'll post it sometime this weekend. Alright, at the front of Mr. Stone Slabs, place white stained glass panes. You then want to place a white concrete to the right of the front block, and you want to bring it up by four, and then connect it down to the ground as well. You're going to bring the bottom four rows of white concrete right with five white stained glass panes. This house is very windowy, if that's a word. Is it a word? I don't know. It's very, um, sunlight style. That That's even worse, but okay. We're gonna go with it, because, you know, I like going with weird things like that, apparently. You know, we'll place two rows of white concrete on top of the panes, and then three rows of panes on top of the white concrete. And then one row of white concrete on top. Place a row of white, white concrete to the right of that. I'm going to have a, some mouthful right there, apparently. And then you want to bring your white concrete section to the left side backwards by three rows. Alright, so at the left side of the... At the right side of the left section, if that makes sense. So this window right here. The first window we made. Yeah. You want to bring this entire row backwards by two. You, you have to bring the um the row of light gray concrete that is directly below the panes backwards, but no other rows. Except for the very top row as well. And then place a row of light gray concrete behind that. Yay, you're gonna auto install later tonight. I don't really care. Dumb phone. <laughs> Surround the dark oak doors and dark oak planks. Unless you use a different door, you're gonna use spruce. You could also use spruce, actually. You could use oak for this, too. If that would work fine. Just, I would use oak with stairs later instead of smooth stone slabs. And then place an additional row of dark oak planks on top. So everything is the same height right now, except for that. That's its own little species. <laughs> That's interesting. Alright, I guess we'll, uh, we'll go around. Why not? Going backwards. You want to bring the bottom four rows of white concrete backwards with 15 white stained glass panes. And then a white concrete. So do that four times. I believe. Then place two rows of white concrete on top of that. Oopsies, I was looking down. And then going front to back on top of that, you want to place six white stained glass panes, one white concrete, one white stained glass pane. One white concrete, six white stained glass panes, and then a white concrete. Copy that row two more times. Um, 
anything at all, any news. Probably not. But, um, yeah. And then you want to place a white concrete on top of that. <clears throat> I don't know why my voice is dead, but, um, yeah, that happened. I finished my first week of school. At the time you're seeing this, I will have been done. And also at the time you're seeing the video on the, um, the day before you're seeing this one, which is also the day I'm recording this one. Schedule is really weird because I'm pre-recording everything, just in case um, something turns up and I gotta be away all day, then I still have a video to be uploaded. Like, uh, Wednesday I would not have had a video if I didn't do that. That was smart of me, because we were out till about 6, and then it was about 9 when I finally, like, got to sit down and, well, I could have made it before, because I had to leave it, I think, 3 or 4, right on the dot, basically. Alright, let's keep, let's not, um, keep talking. We just went for some errands, you know, just the usual. You want to bring, um, the back row of the bottom four white concrete left with three white stained glass panes and a white concrete. Place two rows of white concrete on top of that. And then you want to copy that pattern. Yeah, I was checking because I was like, wait a minute, that one doesn't touch the floor, but no, it's another one. It's a different one. Just like that. If you're on the inside of the build, you want to go backwards and I have left by one and place a dark oak plank. Then bring it left by five. These two sections I decided to switch up just so it's a little bit different. I actually do like the back. Probably more in the front. Although I do like both sides. They're both cool, in my opinion. Again, personal opinions. Going left or right or right to left or top of the dark oak does not matter. Place a dark oak plank. Four white stained glass panes. And then a dark oak plank. Copy that row one more time. And place four rows of dark oak planks on top of that. Oopsies. Then going left to right or right to left on top of that. Does not matter. Place a dark oak plank. Oh god, voice crack. Four white single ass panes and a dark oak plank. Copy that row one more time. I should premiere this. And then place our dark oak planks on top of that. Most random thing I've said today. Although cl the cleaning up thing was also random. But whatever, it's true. We're, it's going to be um, very empty. Which will be interesting. To, it's it's going to be weird for me even. <laughs> and I live here. I just live here. You want to bring... Okay, never mind. Don't do that. Don't do that. Alright. From the dark oak plank, you want to go backwards and your left by one and place a light gray concrete. Alright, from that light gray concrete, you want to go left and place three white stained glass panes and then two light gray concrete. Copy that row three more times. Uh, the window's open, so that's cool. I wonder if anybody's like, ever heard me while the window's open. Probably. And then you want to bring... You want to place one row of light gray concrete on top of that. Now going right to left place five light gray concrete and then a white stained glass pan. Then going left or right or right to left on top of the light gray concrete does not matter. Place a light gray concrete, three white stained glass panes and a light gray concrete. Copy that row two more times. And place a row of light gray concrete on top. These two sections should be in line. And then what you want to do is you want to bring the these two light gray concrete, so one down diagonal from each window, inwards by eight. And then bring them each up by three. And then connect together. You're going to place an additional row of light gray concrete on top of that four, the little four, which we have a doorway in now. And then you want to connect that forward and back. These two large gaps on either side, you want to fill in with white stained glass panes. Can you, like, kind of not? Thank you. Come on, turtles. It's always them, isn't it? It's always either them or the chinchillas. Mr. Squidward's generally quiet, although... Okay, he's basking. Good. He's a good man respectful. 
you want to place a row of smooth stone blocks in this little gap right here to create a porch balcony that's what it is not a porch balcony just a one block balcony you don't have to add those if you don't want you can just um either make this section two blocks out or one block or just kind of make this for aesthetics you could even like have the room and everything but just don't have a door or have a window that looks like a door in this doorway you want to place a smooth stone slab that is uh, normal facing and then place smooth stone blocks to the I guess right of that technically behind it and then place dark oak doors on top of those smooth stone blocks just like that and so you should have the door does actually create depth which is nice as well another one of those good things to add alright take out your quartz slabs you'll never guess what the next step is you want to place quartz slabs on top of the entire light gray concrete dark oak plank white concrete blocks which should go like this some along the lines of this and that just like that and then you want to bring it all outwards again and you want to make sure that every corner is a school is like a cubed or 90 degree angle that's correct like something like that for example or that's not 90 degrees but well it is technically but everything wants to be like sharper edges not kind of like that but it wants to basically always have a block that is like outwards from every direction so out diagonally outwards left yeah and then just like that if you've built a modern house you should know how this works most of my modern houses go this way and then you want to fill in the roof with quartz slabs um any plans at all to tell you guys no not really honestly but um yeah it's september that's a fact hopefully um anything anything hopeful actually at all to be honest no other than high school yay fun not fun at all especially starting online but it is what it is. Nothing really that you need to know. Unless you want me to say something, then sure. Something interesting. Fun fact. Uh, any fun facts? No, not really. Uh, I drew some stuff, that's cool. But, um, once you're filled in your roof, ladies and gentlemen, excluding the interior. Let me show your interior space really quick. Not bad, it's a good amount. That is your modern house. The 62nd installment now. Complete. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Have a fantastic rest of your day or night, and I will see you on the next one. Peace.